But I would really like to think that we're in a place now where it's not about believability and that we don't have to apologize. I was really scared to come forward, but I think something that reassured me even in that moment of fear was that there were women before me, that other people have to on some level see this and not think of it as, you know, Charlotte versus the governor, but a movement as it's moving forward. This starts then. This doesn't yeah. start when you get to this place. It starts before you get to this place. Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the governor resigned uh, and he still, in fact, won't take responsibility, even in his resignation speech. And even afterwards, he's still willing to uh, try and discredit us. And I am at a point where I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. This has been a horrible experience. I'm doing okay. Every day is hard. Um, it's sad. It like takes a piece of you a little bit. But I would do it over again. Every, I, if I had the chance, I would make the same decision every single time. I, the reason I was in public service was to be a good citizen and give back and do the right thing and contribute and uh, I didn't see my role uh, like this but that's what it turned into and that's okay I'm proud of myself for coming forward um, and I will get through it Thank you. No, it's been we know the underbelly of these institutions better than anyone. And I think we have a lot of solutions to fix it. And we should be at the table. Um, it should be our table.